In this segment, we'll cover a very important gram-negative rod of the enteric tract named Escherichia coli, or better known as E. coli. We'll also cover two specific types of E. coli, enterohemorrhagic E. coli, or EHEC, and enterotoxigenic E. coli, also known as ETEC. This segment really has special importance to me, not only because E. coli is a high-yield subject, but more importantly because of where we decided to stage the scene. The scene is called E. coli's soda fountain, and takes place in an old-fashioned soda fountain, or a restaurant that serves milkshakes and ice cream soda. In high school, my favorite summer job was working at one of these soda fountains, and I had a lot of great memories from working there, so it was a big inspiration for the idea. So, I hope you enjoy it. First, we'll lay out the important microbiology and virulence factors for E. coli, then we're going to talk about the clinical effects, then dive into talking about EHEC, and finally ETEC. So we have our E. coli waiter serving a milkshake, which has a meaning of its own, but I'll get back to that. A little trade secret I figured out from working in a soda fountain is that they put a secret ingredient in all milkshakes. It's milk. And coincidentally, one of the most important defining features for E. coli is its ability to ferment lactose. Lactose is in milk, and remember it's pink because lactose fermenters grow pink on McConkie's auger. We also use this same milk symbol for lactose fermentation in our Klebsiella enterobacter and serratia video. So when you hear lactose fermenter, you've narrowed it down to these bacteria. And E. coli is also encapsulated. So we'll draw this familiar glass capsule and we'll have it surrounding a cake. The cake stands for K antigen, which is an important antigen present on the capsule used for serotyping. We'll talk more about this when we get to clinical presentations.